It's the Roman Legends Classic here at Barclays Center in Brooklyn. The championship game and two teams that were very impressive in their respective wins last night. Auburn takes on Richmond. The Spiders looking to pull off the upset. Both teams undefeated and they have no seniors. First time in 20 years that Richmond has zero seniors on the roster, but that doesn't mean that they don't have experience. Attack if you're going to take that shot without passing it. Backdoor cut. You mentioned the Princeton offense as Gilliard lays it in and how good this team can be going backdoor. You mentioned off the top, Bruce Pearl loves to play his bench, right? So guys have had experience and are going to be called up on right now in a championship game of a tournament to have Sherrod to step up. hits a three, but an offensive rebound. I don't believe it. <laughs> you believe in that? You just executed it as Flanagan shot. was able to keep the possession alive. Shoot. Skips one out to Sherrod. Gilliard. Nice find underneath for the reverse by Grant Golden. Sank down in the passing lane and got the steal. I think Francis overpassed on that possession. Dowdy with the left hand. Rolls it in and finally Auburn is able to get their second field goal and make this a two-point game. Off the mark. The long rebound to Flanagan. He muscles his way in with the left hand, rolls it off the rim, tapped around, and Flanagan is there as Purifoy kept it alive. Uh, back the other way come the Tigers. Flanagan out on the wing to Purifoy. Line drive, triple is buried, and the Tigers take the lead. Un, Francis tries to quiet them down, can't do it. Kept alive by Golden, banks it in. How well has he played in the last two Really minutes? well. Javon McCormick drives it. And finishes. I think for Auburn, you're, you're fine with where you're at considering how sluggish this start was. High low pass, McLemore to Wiley, plus the foul. It, it's unstoppable. If Grace is on, Wiley space the floor. 16 to 4 run. Cambridge throws it right to Gilliard. And he will race in for two. You know, Embiid has had elite level footwork. Even when he was at Kansas, you, you, I know you went to a lot of shoot around during that time. You saw some of the footwork we're seeing at the next level right now. He was honing it then. Okoro with the block. Dowdy will draw the foul. Sherrod, a lane to the basket. And the reverse. Terrific move by Nick Sherrod. They didn't front, they didn't give him that easy pass over the top. Gilliard drives it, and that's rejected. Thrown down by Flanagan. It's for the kids. Not too bad. There's a steal by Gilliard. Cruises in for two more. And Bruce, if they could manage that one tonight, that would be one heck of a start. Here's Francis. Doesn't get the roll, but the tip follow on time for Gustafson. Just a good job working the offensive glass. Just, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, however, am hanging on your every word. Thank you. I appreciate nice that. Nice finish by Burton. But both big men get tagged with a personal. Dowdy down the lane. Able to lay it in. Hillier in and out. A run out for Dowdy. Walls off Francis and stuffs it home. That was a beautiful shield by Samir Dowdy. Francis attacks at the other end and with the left hand he's able to shovel one through to Caressi. I'm slow. I'm just not that slow. Sherrod. Too strong off the window. And a block in traffic by McLemore. Caressi across the lane. Old fashioned sky hook won't go. Purifoy, that time he is running the floor. And a really nice find from Jamal Johnson. Francis, no good. Caressi with the putback. One point game with 55 seconds to go. In the last 4.7 seconds here. Gilliard catches it a long way from the basket, but he can accelerate quickly. And he will attack the goal. Float one up and knocks it down. Pretty simple. Get it to a great score and let him go do what he does. Early in the half, in only eight minutes of action, he had eight points. So let's see what kind of an impact he makes as he goes head-to-head -head with Wiley to start off here in the second half. And there's Wiley working the offensive glass to put Auburn back on top. For the early post-up. Wiley tries again and scores. Size advantage for Sherrod. Yes. Dowdy connects for three. 
That was a great screen, though, by Austin Wiley. His way inside, and another rebound for Javon McCormick. Okoro crosses over and lays it in. Scoops it under Golden's arm. A 9-2 run for Auburn to open up the half. Francis, yes, accelerates to the goal. And now he'll come up and set the screen for Dowdy. Rolls to the goal. Dowdy gives it up, and Wiley finishes. Francis tried to draw a foul. Francis forces one up. The long rebound to Okoro. Okoro gets it back and throws it down. McCormick lobs it, and the finish by McLemore. Or he had that devastating left ankle injury where he dislocated it, and he worked his way back, and his bounce is back, and that was an example of it. Gilliard, speaking of a bounce in traffic. Javon McCormick accelerates. Finger roll. Tapped by Golden. Right two. Seems like at least early in the second half here, Auburn has extended their defense. So they're starting to wear Richmond out as KO is able to jump one home. I, I... Francis left alone. Still can't buy a bucket. Golden though on the offensive glass gets the putback. Okoro one on one. Hands it back outside to Johnson. He hits a three. So the fouls piled up in the first half as Gilliard kicks one to the corner. And that's a big three. Dowdy to Wiley. Flushes. Nice crossover by Gilliard. Left alone. Wiley gets a piece. The length to jump out and deflect that shot. Golden stayed home, challenged Cambridge, and Wiley's there for the follow. Door cut for KO. Nice find from Golden. Yeah, we've got to get a good look at the basket. Go ahead and take it, but not not then. Okoro with the left hand plus the foul. Sherrod spins baseline, forces one up, and is able to finish. Six forty-five to go. Gilliard accelerates. That'll be goaltending time. If Richmond is going to make a push, it probably has to happen now. Six and a half minutes to go, and they've got it in single digits. But Dowdy with a chance for a three-point play. Experience and a commitment to a system and an identity to how you play. Purifoy ends up with the ball falling right in his arms off the air ball. All season long is going to be ranked, in my opinion, in the top 15. You've touched on it. Do they deserve 18? I think they deserve better than 18. A Coro! Showtime! Just wears on you. They apply so much pressure, and then you break down. And you allow them to get out in the open floor where their athleticism and length can take over. Dowdy down the lane, scoops and scores. And it's been a tough night for Blake Francis after a 19-point effort in yesterday's win. That's only his second field goal. It's like every year we get a couple of those unexpected wins that crystallize things just enough that you can make the argument that I guess we're okay at four. four. Everybody said the four was going to ruin college football, right? That you're going to have a playoffs. I don't think it's ruined it. No. I think it's made it better. Golden floats one up and in. Okoro, short. Gilliard taps one ahead. K.O. cruises in. Can't finish with the left hand, but there's Francis. The Auburn Tigers, the way last night they were so disruptive to New Mexico, they turned them over 24 times. Tonight, they played against a team in Richmond that has really good guard play in their own right, and they took them completely out of their game. So as much as you can focus on the 79 points, I would focus on how hard Richmond had to play to score. And when you defend out on the perimeter and can switch and have the versatility that Bruce Pearl's team has, you're going to be really good all season long. Solid win and a very impressive second half performance for Auburn. They trailed by a point at halftime, but they win going away in the Roman Legends Classic Championship game.
over Richmond. 79-65 is the final. Auburn over Richmond. 